How hard is it to be successful in real estate? That's what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today. Hey, my name is John Leahy. I am the leader and founder of the Leahy Group at Remax Fine Living. Um, you know, time and time again, people ask me, how hard is it actually to be successful in real estate? What does it take? What am I doing wrong? How, um, how did you become successful? Those are the things, those are the kind of questions I hear every single day every conference I go to every time I speak at conferences those are the questions people ask how hard how hard is it to be successful in real estate so I'm gonna to talk to you about that real quick today really the three to four secrets that that all the successful real estate agents all the successful real estate business owners employ to get them from uh, being average or just a little above average to super successful super profitable right the kind of real estate agents who can uh, who can change lives and serve big and make a difference like we do at the Leahy group so one of the things that you need to be aware of as a, to be a successful real estate agent is you need to understand the concept of leverage so on the flight here to Toronto the other day I actually met an awesome really awesome realtor on the flight on the plane coming to uh, to Canada and uh, we got to talking and I was like hey man what's your goal what are you what is the outcome you're looking for from this super conference that you are attending and he looked at me and he said you know I want to be able to uh, to be more successful I want to be able to work less and make more money really cool right but to be able to do that I, I got into thinking you gotta understand the concept of leverage right leverage which is taking one thing and getting multiples on it um, so leverage and I start looking into my business what are the things that I learned over time to leverage in order to have a successful super successful business uh, so one of the things that I talked about and I, we started talking on the way to uh, to our baggage claim and we talked about you know what if you want to be successful in anything in life number one you need to know what your ideal clientele is looking for what makes them happy what excites them what uh, what their fears are and then talk from that standpoint talk from the standpoint in, of hey I understand what you need I understand what excites you and I have the solution for you that's the first part now the part of leverage there are three things that we that you and I all business owners needs to understand they need to leverage right because there's only so much time in the world you and I have 24 hours a day and you know what we sleep like four to eight hours a day four to six hours maybe we spend time to eat we spend time at the gym we spend time in conversations we spend, we spend time quality time hopefully with family we spend quality time with friends and then what how much time do we have left over so in order for you because you can't trade time well you can right but you cannot make more time there's only a fixed number of time available for you and I 24 hours in a day and then minus all those other times that we're, we talked about just now how much time do you have left so are you the kind of person right now whose whose biggest need is you need more time then this is what you need to understand to leverage the three things you need to be able to leverage is people right people that's the first part so because you can only do so many things without other people's help right so leveraging people and then leveraging number two systems those are the things that repeats every single day everything that repeats in process for example right so leveraging people leveraging systems and then the third thing is leveraging technology so what does your business currently look like guys respond below let me know what does your business currently look like now before I get too far here um, my number is 301-651-4900 feel free to text me or comment on the message on, on this part below um, and I would love to talk to you if you want to talk about you know hey John how do I leverage people hey John how do I leverage technology how do I leverage systems what kind of technology are you using what kind of systems are you using if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, I would love to set up a time with you and just see how I can help you out um, create a successful real estate business now especially if you're in DC metro area because that's where I am I would love to partner with you I would love to at least talk to you and see if I can you know what we can do to work together all right so again leveraging people systems and technology those are the three most important things if you want to have a successful business 
It doesn't have to be real estate. It could be anything. But those three things, again, the question that, people, that, that, that I keep on hearing is, how hard is it to be successful in real estate? The answer is, it can be hard if you don't understand the concept of leverage. But if you understand the concept of leverage and you understand what people need and what people want and what your ideal, ideal clientele are afraid and in fear of and what excites them and what makes them happy, if you get that part, you know what? If you put it all together, it's, I don't want to say it's not that hard, but it's, it's possible because I did it, right? And then here's the last, here's the last uh, tip I have for you today. Find somebody who's already done what you want to do, right? That's what I did. I found a coach. I found a mentor. And I, kept, I, I, I find somebody who's doing or have done the things that I want to accomplish. Because there's no reason for you to recreate everything over and over and over again and, and fail and fail and fail. Proximity is power, right? You need to get close to people who are more successful than you. You need to get close to people who have done what you are trying to accomplish right now because you can learn a lot from them. There's no reason why you have to recreate and, and, and fail over and over again. Why can't you just learn from other people's mistakes, right? So proximity is power. That's the last tip. If you want to be successful in real estate or in any industry, proximity is power. You want to be close to those people who are more successful than you. Those people who, are, who have or currently are doing the things you are trying to do. That's probably the best thing that, you can, that I can share with you today is proximity is power. Be close to those people who are more successful than you. Jim Rohn said it, and you've heard me say it before. You are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. Um, so you want to be successful? Find successful peers. Hang around them. Force yourself to be uncomfortable. That's the best part. If you are already comfortable, you're not gonna grow. You've heard of the sayings, growing pains, right? There's a show from the 90s called Growing Pains. And I, when I was a, a, a kid and a teenager watching that show, I'm like, I don't really understand the concept of growing pains until I start my own business every single time. And I shared with, this, uh, with all these agents this last couple of days is your business goes through growth modes. But every time it goes through a growth mode, there will always be points where uh, you, you hit a wall, hit a ceiling, and you start to go down and you start to plateau. And as you plateau, you need to go through another mode of growth. And that part, that's growing pains. And growing pains is usually indicated by, by you just being comfortable. When you're comfortable, you are not growing. When you are comfortable, you are stagnant. Get yourself out of your comfortable state, comfortable mode, and you know what? Be uncomfortable. Be uncomfortable because it is beautiful to be uncomfortable because that's the indicator that you're about to grow. Find peers that are more successful than you. Find people that is better than you. Suck it up, right? Be okay not being the best and learn from them. Learn from them. Learn from them. Be a sponge. Absorb what they're saying. Learn apply it to your life, apply it to your business, and you will see your, your, your business and your life will improve, will, will get better, but it starts with being uncomfortable. Another indicator is sometimes you feel dissatisfaction. That's cool, right? I went through the same phase. I started being dissatisfied with my real estate business, and I had to dig deep and dig deep, and that's the growing pain that we were talking about. Dissatisfaction, Cool, right? The moment you start feeling comfortable, break out of it. That's the indicator that you're about to enter a season of growth and embrace it. Hey guys, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. I have an appointment to run to. Um, again, my number is 301-651-4900. Hopefully, I've given you some insights as to how to grow your real estate business, how to be successful in life, and, um, and hopefully I answered the question. How hard is it? to be successful in real estate. All right, guys, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consult on, uh, or just talk to me, I give you my number or comment below. See ya.